What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get your own custom alert sounds whenever you're playing old school RuneScape. For example, here are some of mine. Here's a sound it makes whenever I level up. The sound that it makes whenever I complete a quest. Mission accomplished, good work. The sound that it makes whenever I complete a collection log slot. Ooh, yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! The sound when I die. And even the sound whenever I get a haircut in Falador. So those are just some of my sounds for my alerts. So let me show you how you could do your own. First things first, open up the sidebar on the top of your RuneLake client. From here, go to the top right of the sidebar and click on the wrench to open up your configuration tab. And then you want to go to your plugin hub, sound located at the top of the UI instead of the bottom. And then from here, you want to go up to the search bar and type in C space engine. Then you want to install the C engineer completed plugin. Once it's installed, click on the little gear right next to the remove button. And you could see some of the stuff that you can get alerts for. Also here is where you can change your announcement volume. I have mine set to only 20 because some of my alerts are pretty loud, especially my collection log slot one. This plugin usually just has C Engineer voice over some of your achievements in the game. However, we are going to be customizing those with our own sounds. So once everything's installed, what you want to do now is actually minimize RuneLite and head on over to your desktop. From here, open your file explorer and then go to this PC. From here, go to local disk and then go to users, select yourself. And then around the top area, you should see a folder called dot RuneLite. Click on that folder and then you'll see a folder named C Engineer Sounds. Click on that one, and here are all the sounds that are located inside the plugin and where we can replace the sounds with other sounds. Okay, so what I usually do is open up YouTube and then I search for whatever sound I like. For example, as you guys heard that whenever my character dies, it plays the GTA 5 wasted sound. So I'm gonna be using that as an example. So let's type in GTA 5 wasted sound effect. Find the sound that is the one that you want to use. Okay, and this one is perfect. So what I do now is I copy the URL to that sound. I open up another Okay, so apparently I'm not allowed to show you guys what I showed you guys, and that's how to uh, turn a YouTube video into an MP3 file. I got a warning for it. If I mess up again, I get a strike, so let's not do that again. But uh, let's just say that Google is your friend, and if you literally just uh, type that in on, you know, the parent to YouTube's website, Google, and yeah, you guys can turn it into an MP3 that way. Hopefully this doesn't get a strike. I don't know why it would. I'm not showing how to technically do anything wrong, but all right, uh, back to the guide. Once you have your sound effect downloaded and you have the folder open, open back up your C Engineer sounds folder that you opened earlier. And because you want the sound to replace C Engineer sound, where he says dying on my hardcore Iron Man completed, in the C Engineer sounds folder, find the file that says dying HCIM completed, and then you're gonna right click it. You're gonna click rename, and then you're just going to right click it again and copy the name of that file. And then you're gonna delete it. And then you're gonna drag the sound that you wanted to replace it with from your downloads folder into the C Engineer sound folder. And then once it's in there, you're gonna right click it click rename and then right click and hit paste and now it's called dying on my hardcore iron man completed yet again however whenever you play it it now plays the gta 5 sound or whatever sound that you guys wanted to use and that's basically how you do it you could then look at all of the different sounds that are in the c engineer plugin such as the collection log slot completed one, and you could do the exact same method that I just did in order to replace those sounds with these sounds. But let's just say that you actually just wanted to use a snippet of a longer sound effect, such as this clip from Moist Critical, where it's his iconic, yeah, baby, that's what I've been waiting for, that's what it's all about, that I use for my collection log sound. However, let's say that you don't want it to actually play all 30 seconds, and you just wanna do a snippet like I have. So what you want to do is head on over to YouTube, find the clip that you want to use a snippet from. Once again, you want to copy the URL. Once again, I'm not allowed to show you how I did this, but uh, trust me, it takes 15 seconds. Just Google it, honestly. 
and then you want to download it. The program that I use to chop up all of my sound effects that I use for making videos is called Audacity. So you could just Google Audacity and then you'll see the download link right here. Click download and then you want to click download for Windows, download Audacity. And then once you have Audacity downloaded, you want to open it. And this is what it looks like. And then what you're going to want to do is pull open your downloads folder where you just downloaded your longer clip and you want to drag it into Audacity. From here, you can see the entirety of the clip. Mine is 30 seconds. And then you want to just find the part that you want. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! Okay, so I just want to use that much. So I'll go up here and I'll click the little zoom in button so that it zooms in really nicely where I could see exactly where I want it to cut and click back here and play again. Okay, so I want to cut it right here, right before he starts talking again. So what I'm going to do is grab right there and I'm going to hold down my mouse and I'm going to slide it all the way to the end. Okay, once you're at the end, you want to let go, and then on your keyboard, you want to hit the delete key that's right above your arrow keys. Okay, and then you could zoom back out. So now the clip is only seven seconds. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! However, it has an abrupt ending, and that could be kind of annoying and jarring to just instantly cut off like that. So what we're going to do is highlight the last bit, and we're going to go up here and we're going to click on effect and then we're going to go to fading and then we're going to go down to fade out and what that'll do is from however much you have highlighted from that point it'll start fading out to nothing so now whenever you replay it Woo! yeah baby that's what i've been waiting for that's what it's all about and that sounds quite a bit nicer than it just cutting right off. And of course, this also works the other way around with fade ins. If you don't want it to start out yelling so loud, you could just highlight the beginning part, go to effect, fading, fade in, and it will blend that in for you as well. And don't forget, if your sound is in the middle of a video instead of at the very beginning, you do the same thing that you did for the end to the beginning. So you will highlight, let's say that I just wanted this section. Baby, that's what I've been waiting for. I would go before that and I will just highlight all the things before it and hit delete on my keyboard and that's how you cut it out. So once you have your clip ready to go, go up to file, go to export and do export as mp3 and then you just want to save your file to your desktop or wherever and then essentially you would just do the exact same thing, copying the name of the file you want to replace it with, deleting that file, swapping in your new file and naming it the same thing as the file you just deleted and you will be good to go. So yeah, guys, I know that might be a little bit difficult. I'm not sure if I explained it in the best way, but you know, I did it in the best way I could kind of explain. I tried to make it as easy as possible for y'all. But yeah, a couple of you guys asked how I get my specific sounds to play when I'm in game, and that's how I do it. So figured I'd make a video and show you guys. If you did enjoy it and you did learn something and it helped you guys out, be sure to drop a like below. It really means a lot to me. And if you want to see some more old school RuneScape videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. But yeah, guys, with all that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one.